Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask on Amazon. Today, very excited to look at the Lundibright mask. It's an interesting brand. Uh, I like the packaging quite a bit, soft touch box. Let's put it in the clamper and see what happens. So I like that this brand is, um, you know, standing by it. They put their name on every mask, which you don't normally see. I think this is, I was looking this up, I think this is like a French brand, maybe? Uh, the masks are made in China, but the brand, I think, is from France. Oh, yeah. It's got a uh, Masks Day Protection. Let her rip. This is a PFE machine, Particulate Filtration Efficiency Machine. We are doing the American ASTM uh, Level 1, 2, and 3 test using this machine. Those are the standards we're going to be holding them to, but also we're going to look at what standards they are claiming <laughs> three ply paper face mask delivery in the US. I hate it when people think that these are made of paper. They're made of plastic, actually. This doesn't make any sense. There you go. Lundy Bright is a French brand offering protective equipment for professionals. Made in one of our authorized and strictly controlled plant in China. What's weird is it's got this like, you know, diaper wipe situation going on here, and that's not the box that showed up. It's just a regular box. But I do like the box. They spent some time on it. Let's spend some time on opening it and see if they have any. So it does have things in French and English. And I love this repeating pattern down here. And that it's a soft touch box. Got some ad there. Ear loops are pretty premium ear loops. They're, they're large and they've done a good job except for their they're making the mask backwards, which is a pet peeve of mine. It's better if the uh, welds are on the outside of the mask because then it will pull towards you and give you a better look. I'm gonna call this smell Parisian cardboard. It actually just smells like cardboard, but it's from France or it's designed in France. So let's throw some Paris in there, why not? Do one of these two. Yeah, I don't think it's going to break on your face. They didn't make any claims. No claims. They didn't make any claims for protection. They're not saying it's going to be good or bad or indifferent, but we're going to be holding them to the ASTM standard, which the minimum is 95%. 93, 93.064, 93 93.064. Now, I will offer this one consolation. Very much could be that fresh out of the factory, depending on how Amazon was storing these, uh, that this could get a 95 or better. Like we're within a couple of points. I'm not going to ding them too hard for that. Humidity and other things can really affect scores. And so, you know, 95, you know, they may be close to that American standard. That said, I prefer to shoot for the 98% uh, of ASTM level two or three. And there are plenty of masks that we've tested that have exceeded that and got into the 99. So, uh, if there's no other mask available, these are probably pretty good masks to be using. But uh, right now you have the option to pick something that's really good. We've, we've uh, reviewed over 200 masks. So I'll put a link down there for that. Thank you guys very much for checking this out. And uh, do check us out on the next test, which is tomorrow. Because literally every day this year, we are dropping another video at 10 a.m. And I will see you on that next test.